PW. And also, welcome to one of the slowest damn three weeks of PW. You know, I do feel like I'm saying that a lot lately. It's possible I should, you know, try and find some other hobbies. Still, the slowness of the game did give me time to figure out how to couch as a doctor. Seriously, like what you're seeing there was I was trained as a doctor and I figured out you could couch with a light lance if you pulled it out at the right time. But it is not in any way combat effective, so I'm not going to be using that. I'll be honest, I don't really know what was going on with the community these last three weeks. I felt like it went so far south we were going to hit Tenochtitlan. You know, because it's medieval Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Like, the amount of randoming that I've seen is just unbelievable. Still, I think evidence and history will tell that randoming doesn't really work if you can't fight for dick. But enough of that bitterness. If I really had to sum up my time on Radaran these last few weeks, it would really be along the lines of the campaign for Lazloburg. On both sides, really. I mean, everybody seemed to bloody want that castle. We were either defending it or attacking it. Yes, we did attack other castles, but the main stake of our time was spent at Lazloburg, either in it or outside it. And these battles, sometimes they'd go well, sometimes not so well. Where is Grimgor? He's dead because you didn't cover him when he was building. Yes, you're dead, but we already no, you cleared didn't. a shield wall. You were not forming a shield wall in front of the thing. Yes, you're dead, we're right here. Deans! Yeah, Deans! Shut up! Eventually, the campaign for Laszlo did come to an end, and the map changed to a map called Rohan, made by Probito of Godwin. Now, this map was only up for about two or three days, so I'm going to do a half ass map intro. Done. Let me just start by saying in quite a indiscriminate, impartial, uh, matter-of-fact kind of way that this map was complete and utter bullshit. For me at least, as a doctor, I know it was called Rohan, but in reality it should have been called You Can't Ride Courses? Then fuck you. I mean, look at this scene right here. This is pretty much what my time was like, just strolling through all these people, having the time of their lives getting knocked the fuck over. Don't get me wrong, it was a lovely map, it's in a sort of format that we've never seen before, you know, the sort of open fields design. Normally it's condensed by mountains and cities and all sorts of other shit. Which, to be perfectly honest, as a predominantly foot-bound class, it's never really bothered me that much. But I had another problem with this map that was similar to the previous one, which is that there was only two farms. Now, you see, as Archmaester, I'm also responsible for the civilian branch, whose business it is to make sure there's always enough shit in the castle. And everyone's always like, uh, why isn't there ever any courses in this castle? And I'm just there like, well, it's not like courses grow on trees or anything. Oh, look, it's Gimli's box. <laughs> and look who's on it. <laughs> Short bastard. So really, it was a map that was catered towards the Godwin style of play, which was cavalry and lancing and a lot of it. And guess what? They had all the horses, and they wanted us to know about it. So we travelled to Edoras in search of horses and were halted by all of the Godwins. God damn it. And although I was exempt from the robbery, I felt I did need to help my faction members. So I ran up onto the wall, and we had a little fight with them in which Santa killed quite a lot of them. But before long we were outnumbered and we had to run. And I felt something awaken inside me. Something that I haven't felt for quite some time. Yeah. Okay. Follow me, boys. Although it likely be the mercy of the Godwins, I did escape, and I wasn't going to take any chances. Goodbye, bitches. I'm telling you, just about the worst thing you could have done was let me leave. I swear that Santa and Heisenberg will be avenged. But first, a horse. And... Come on! What the hell? Oh, g g fuck off! In the end, I did manage to find a saddle horse, and I decided to travel to Isengard in search of one of the horses which was unique to this map. Or maybe not unique to the map, but certainly very hard to find in PW. And I found it. It was a step horse. It's a tiny bit slower than a saddle horse, but has considerably better manoeuvrability, which, to be honest, 
If I can't outrun coursers, I might as well be able to outmaneuver them, so it seemed like a logical choice. No sooner than I had left Isengard, I was halted by a pair of outlaws, and they were like, drop that greatsword. Now I'd bought the greatsword so that I could sell it on a map where it was much more expensive. And I was going to do this whole thing where I was like, oh, I can't wield the greatsword while I'm on the horse because I'm a doctor, but in the end I was like, fuck it, and legged it. While the chase was on, I called for help in team speak and did my best to outwit the outlaws. I couldn't outrun them, but the maneuverability of the step horse was already shining through. And before long, help arrived in usual Lannister fashion. To the Archmaster! <laughs> <laughs> Mindless subservient loyalists, you gotta love them. Having been saved from certain doom by my new step horse, I felt a strange attachment to it. So I opted to name her Freckles, after her weird complexion. And I wasn't to know that on the next map you wouldn't be able to sell step horses, so Freckles became unique. One of a kind. And also, I was little to know, that I had just found one of my most trustworthy and loyal companions. But that's another story for another time. I'm just putting this bit at the end of the video so that I can chop it off uh, sometime in the future. Uh, sorry, but this is where I shattered the illusion that the video was longer than six minutes. Like, the video ended back there, like, this is something completely different. First of all, I don't really know if I should be doing this, since I'm not exactly a massive YouTuber, and I don't know if I'm self-aggrandizing here a bit, but I at least thought this is something that maybe I should talk about. I get asked questions quite a lot in-game, and, uh, easily the question I get asked the most is, when is the next video coming? Now, I appreciate the interest, and those of you who have asked me that question, you probably got the same answer that I gave everyone else, which is, I don't know. And the truth is, I will never know because stuff actually has to come along and happen before I can turn it into a video. And I'm not saying I want people to come along and make stuff happen, it's always been, like, natural, I've, that's always been part of it. But when I started doing this, um, way back, like, I say way back, it was like four months ago now, uh, everything was fresh, like, everything was new, and I, I was uploading, I think it was episode one through seven, uh, happened within two to four days of each other, which is ridiculous. I mean, I could never keep that up now. And that is, I just put it simply, because nothing's fresh anymore. I feel like I've pretty much shown every facet of the game. And it's for that reason, entirely that reason as well, I'm not bored of doing this or anything. I'm going to be taking a bit of a break. I'm going to do episode 20 and then round it off. You know, nice round number. So we've got sort of a season, if you will. Sort of season one. There we go. And uh, then I'm just going to sort of stop doing videos for a bit. I'm still going to play PW, you'll still see me around, and I suppose if something really cool happens, I will have to upload that, but, but you know, I'm going to wait for a bit, wait for things to change, you know, maybe wait for the Nexus sub mod to come out. I just want to say that, when the Nexus sub mod comes out, I will almost certainly, almost certainly start doing stuff again, so, yeah, uh, I just, I just didn't want it to get to the point where I was sort of just farting out a video every now and then, so... I'm just quitting while I'm ahead, so to speak. It's not that serious, because I'm not going anywhere, but, like, I just thought I'd explain why, I go, why I'm go, why i going a bit inactive after the next video gets uploaded. I just thought I'd let you know. Okay, so, yeah. Toodle a bit.